Hello everybody! Today in this video I will show to you how to make a really simple and really promising zinc arm hybrid capacitor. So also you can call this device a hybrid battery but the discharge curve is more similar to capacitor so that's why I named this a hybrid capacitor. Uh, so I will take apart and I will start with the negative electrode. So the negative electrode is made from zinc metal. So the zinc metal is really good uh, because you have a lot of storage of zinc ions and that's why is this one really really good. So the separator, the separator is some filter paper, really dense filter paper, which means if you make some filtration out from this paper, uh, the filtration will be really, 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 really slow. So really dense filter paper for the separator and the, uh, the positive electrode uh, the current collector is some old-fashioned zinc uh, plate uh, together with uh, graffiti carbon fiber and the, uh, the active material is some activated carbon so if you have some really good activated carbon at home this uh, will be really really good if not you can increase the performance uh, if you add a little bit of manganese dioxide. And now the electrolyte. The electrolyte is some water-based electrolyte. And uh, the electrolyte is made from water and the zinc sulfate. So I test uh, several combinations of zinc-based electrolytes and I find that uh, if I use uh, water with zinc sulfate and a little bit of zinc chloride, uh, the performance is really, really good. Uh, this project is all about experimentation and you can make several combinations uh, of the electrolyte, but in, but in my case, I use zinc sulfate and a little bit of zinc chloride. And I think that uh, this electrolyte combination is really, really good. You can try only water with zinc sulfate uh, and you will see what you will get. So in my case, uh, this zinc sulfate, I mean only to using zinc, zinc sulfate in water uh, was not really good. Uh, but with combination of zinc chloride, I just add a little bit of zinc chloride. Uh, I add uh, one teaspoon of uh, zinc sulfate to the water and less than half of teaspoon of zinc chloride. Uh, but also, like I said, it's all about uh, experimentation. You also can try the zinc nitrate so combine some zinc nitrate and zinc sulfate and you will see what you will get but in my case I use this too <coughs> so the electrolyte is water based electrolyte I mean it's water uh, yeah it's water based electrolyte Uh, so in my case I use this water-based electrolyte and the charging voltage of this cell is 2.2 volts I mean I charge this cell with 2.2 volts uh, in this case you will get a little bit of hydrogen uh, evolution but this uh, hydrogen evolution will, will be very very low so no panic um, The voltage of this cell is between 1.8 volts and 1.5 volts. 
uh, and I charge this cell uh, for 8 minutes and I get a runtime uh, on 50 milliamps current load uh, for almost 40 minutes which is really really good so but like I said before it's all about experimenting and you guys you need to experiment with this so this is the base idea of this cell so I read also some research papers uh, on similar device like this one uh, but in this paper uh, I read that the electrolyte which use uh, which was used uh, in this capacitor was only zinc sulfate and the researchers claim that uh, the capacitor have over 10,000 cycles so I try with zinc sulfate and I get uh, not really good performance but if I add zinc chloride I get really really good results so like I said 8 minutes of charging and uh, 40 minutes of discharging also youtuber solar hope uh, make also really good similar device like this and yeah and now is the time that I show to you uh, the test I mean this test run uh, which I discharge this cell so so I will dis uh, disconnect and I will run the electronic load so the electronic load is set on 50 milliamps uh, constant current So this was the finish. So the zinc ion hybrid capacitor is empty and yeah I get almost 40 uh, minutes of runtime 
on uh, 50 milliamps uh, constant current load. So yeah, this little zinc arm hybrid capacitor uh, was really really good because uh, I charged this uh, capacitor uh, for 8 minutes on voltage of 2.2 volts and 360 milliamps. Uh, yeah, and I get uh, almost 40 minutes of runtime. So this zinc uh, ion hybrid capacitor uh, is really good device for experimenting. So you need to experiment uh, with this one and yeah, you will get really really good device. So, uh, that's it for now, and we see us in the next video. Bye.